Now you will hear some talks and discussions about academic topics. Each talk or discussion is followed by four or more questions. Choose the best answer to each question and mark the letter of the correct answer on your answer sheet. You will hear each talk or discussion only one time. Questions 29 through 32. Listen to a teacher speaking in a science class. Last class, we talked about some of the ways gut bacteria can affect our physical health. For example, it influences our weight and our immune system. Now, there is growing scientific evidence that gut bacteria may affect even our brain and behavior. New scientific experiments show that gut bacteria may produce chemicals that can access and influence brain chemistry. In one experiment, The gut bacteria of mice were changed by giving the mice either probiotics or antibiotics. This caused chemical changes in the part of the brain that controls emotion and mood. As a result, anxious mice became less anxious and more social, and aggressive mice became calmer. When the mice's gut bacteria were restored to normal, the mice's original behavior and mood also returned. Researchers have conducted experiments on humans as well. In one experiment, they analyzed the brain MRIs in the types of gut bacteria of 60 volunteers. The researchers discovered that certain brain regions differed among the volunteers. It depended on what type of bacteria dominated a volunteer's gut. In another experiment, researchers gave healthy female participants probiotics. They then scanned the women's brains. Researchers found that the brain circuits that influence anxiety were less active in the women after they took the probiotics. Researchers believe that gut bacteria communicates with the brain through the vagus nerve. This long nerve runs all the way from the brain to the stomach. To prove their theory, the researchers from the mouse experiment cut the vagus nerve in the mice. Then they conducted the experiments again. This time, no chemical changes in the brain occurred in response to changes in the gut bacteria. The connection between gut bacteria and the brain means that scientists may be able to create probiotic type drugs. These drugs could then be used to send specific messages from the gut to the brain. This could potentially help people with behavioral and mood disorders, such as depression, autism, and even bipolar disorder. Now answer the questions. 29. What is the main topic of the talk? 